Hi, I'm John Everett with Zern Industries. Today I'd like to talk to you about the opening and closing stop adjustment on the Zern Wilkins butterfly valves. Now to give you a scenario of what you may see, you'll have your backflow pre preventer installed, uh, you get ready to test it for example, and you shut down the water flow, but you realize you still have movement of water going through the valve. Well basically it's because the stop on the butterfly valve needs to be adjusted. Now these stops are adjusted at the factory, but naturally in the act of shipping them from our factory to you, they can vibrate a little bit, move, and in essence all it does is it just it changes where the wedge inside the valve is actually going to stop. So if that does move a little bit, like I said, you may get a little leakage. So the adjustment process is really straightforward. What I'm going to do is I'm going to take an Allen wrench, and on my butterfly valve I have a, a closing stop and an opening stop. And again, these determine the position of the wedge inside the valve when we go from full open to full closed. So right now, I'm going to say, for example, that I, I'm leaking through the valve when I try to close it. That means I need to adjust my closing stop. The first thing that I will do is I'll reach in with my Allen wrench and I'll remove the first set screw. There's a set screw on top of the actual one to do the adjustment to try to lock it in place and prevent it from moving so much when we have shipping. Uh, but then again, you know, it certainly can vibrate and move a little bit while it is being shipped. So I'll take the first set screw out, and now I'm actually reaching into the set screw that will adjust the stop itself. What I want to do is, in this case, I'm going to back that stop out a little bit. I'm going to go ahead and close off my butterfly valve, and if I don't get actual closure, open it just a tad, and then back that set screw off a little bit more. What I'm doing is I'm sneaking up on it so that I can get my wedge to finally seal against the body of the butterfly valve. And I want to develop a bubble tight seal, but I also want to be careful that I don't overshoot that and go beyond because I could damage my wedge. It's just going to compress the rubber and it may cause harm. So again, you just want to sneak up on it. If the valve's not closing correctly, back your stop out a little bit and close the valve a little more until you finally get it to seal off bubble tight. In the case of the opening stop, it's virtually the same thing. If my wedge doesn't open far enough, in other words, my paddle isn't perfectly parallel to the direction of flow, that would indicate to me the wedge is not fully opening. So once again, take out the first set screw and then reach inside and go ahead and back that screw out. Open my valve up and see if I do get to that point where it is fully open. So in either case, it's just a matter of slight adjustment of that stop to get the butterfly valve to fully close and to fully open. Now, if this wasn't clear to you, I strongly encourage you to give us a call here at Zern Wilkins. We're happy to talk to you about this. We have written instructions. We'll talk to you over the phone and give you all the guidance that you may need so that you can get this properly adjusted in the field. Again, please call us. That's what we're here for.